hey guys, you're listening to Miss Tech Specs. Going to be doing some short clips on the differences or features between the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy GS3. So if you're the type of person that knows what you like and you know what you don't like, this video might be for you. If you like, subscribe. If you like, like. Click the thumbs up button. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so got both phones here. Here's the GS3. We're just going to type, like, what's up? Not too bad, but you can see that it didn't correct it at all. Um, put that down here. This is the stock HTC One keyboard. So the layout to me is a little bit better, I just, and the look is better as well. It's not so spread out, so it's a little bit easier. I'm going to put the same amount of effort into typing this message. see and it's easier and then we have swipe as well so I'm gonna go ahead and you can change the color of this in the settings not bad so, okay, okay so this one has swipe as well so we're gonna go ahead and try that out not bad so you can see the difference. It's to me this is just a better layout and a better keyboard and you still have your Google Voice access there. Yeah. And you also have that over here. It's not gone, it's there. Oh yeah, you have other options there. Let's look at those options. Okay, this time it did it once, which is, yeah, it's kind of throwing me off because at first you saw that there was a, that's when you hold, yeah. So if you hold that option there for the um, microphone input, you get these other options. But the funny thing is, it's not like it's letting me know that I'm selecting one or the other. Oh, there you go. There's no slide. Actually, I think that's pretty cool. That you can get to the clipboard from that. Hmm, so yeah, we got a few more options here. Which I never use, but, you know, who doesn't want more options? So now you get into the settings. And, yeah, there is more to change here than on the HTC One. Like I said, you just really don't get the option to do that much with um, their setup. So, let's see. We can even get to the settings here. We can get there. So, that, these are the settings. Arrow keys, vibration feedback. And you don't get to change, like, the haptic feedback the amount of feedback that you're getting you don't get to do that um, let's see so you get to change the color on the keyboard the tracing that's really to me about it and you have your dictionary tutorials and let's see what it paints you can see there what you get calibration for the screen sound feedback really it's yeah it's quiet, normal, or loud. And there's language. That is kind of it. So there you have it. Keyboard options there. For both phones. Like I said, I like the interface on this one better. So the skin, I guess you can call it. I like Sense 5. And then over here, Samsung, of course, is going to give you more options to personalize.